He just raise our minds and hearts open to the Trinity and to fix there on our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us in the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims. Your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into love and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But by it, keep us further into the depths of the immense mystery until the day when our souls, fully blessed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love and unity. Q. 
Rescue the weak and the poor. Set them free from the hand of the wicked. On perceiving they grope in the darkness, and the order of the world is shaken. I have said to you, you are gods, and all of you sons of the Most High. And again <coughs> you shall die like men, you shall fall like any of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you rule all the nations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The light came into the world, but men loved darkness. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing in him, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God the living God. The sparrow finds herself a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. In these last days, God has spoken to us by a son. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the staff and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Sila exult, and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord, and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior he stirs up his ardor. 
He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills, all their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey, by paths unknown I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. In these last days, God has spoken to us by a son. As his majesty is, so also is his mercy. The Lord is king with majesty and robed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world you made firm not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. Greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surgings of the sea, the Lord is glorious on high. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. As His majesty is, so also is His mercy. In the book of Judith. We should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test, as he did our forefathers. Recall how he dealt with Abraham, how he tried Isaac, and all that happened to Jacob in the Syrian Mesopotamia while he was tending the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. Not for vengeance did the Lord put them in the crucible to try their hearts, nor has he done so with us. It is by way of admonition that he chastises those who are close to him.
set them free. His rays are for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, all in righteousness sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. Amen. to spend this day for your glory and our neighbor's good. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O John, shining shine star of the church, church ever reflect the Father's light, by revealing to us the mystery of the word, the eternal fruit of his wisdom source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agathos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit of Heracles, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.